Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we will discuss about uh, heterospory in pteridophytes. So for this lecture, uh, the topic is heterospory, and that is specifically in pteridophytes. Pteridophytes, uh, as we all know, these are the vascular land plants that do not produce seeds. Now, what is the meaning of heterospory? If we talk about the term heterospory. It is very clear and evident from the term itself that it is a condition or it is a phenomena where a plant produces two different kinds of spores and that's why we give the term heterospory and the plant uh, or that organism as heterosporous plant. So this is how we define in a very simple and easy way that heterospory. Now this is not a new term in uh, botany or in science. Uh, it is, or if we talk about heterospory, it is uh, a very uh, common topic of debate or review in a botany. And uh, we have huge number of definitions, if we look into the literature, about the uh, definitions, uh, various number of definitions of heterospory. Uh, if we go back uh, to uh, like about in 1966, uh, one of the researchers or botanists uh, in 1966 what he stated or what statement he gave about heterospory or heterosporous condition uh, that where a condition or where a plant produces uh, two different types of spores and the pattern is also development pattern is also different so this is how in 1966, uh, we had the definition of heterospory and from there uh, onwards, we have huge number of definitions time to time. Some researchers, they have said that heterospory, it simply means we have two different types. Some said that we have two different types of spores that are different in sizes. So we have number of definitions if you look into the literature, uh, but in simple and easy language, uh, if you want to define heterospory, that is uh, what? That is a phenomenon or condition where we have two different types of spores that are different in structure and function. This is how we can define in a very simple way uh, the definition of the definition of heterospory. Now if we talk about the pteridophytes, pteridophytes these are the vascular plants already uh, just now we have discussed these are the vascular land plants where we can see heterospory. But one point that all the plants if we talk about pteridophytes most of the plants are homosporous. If we talk about tetrophytes, most of the plant or most of the tetrophytes, they are homosporous, that means they produce only one type or only one kind of spore. But few genera or species, we have that they produce two types and these are termed as heterosporous pteridophytes. Now what is the difference in structure and function? Just now we will discuss in short. Now two kinds of spores that are produced in a pteridophyte, first kind is microspore and as the name suggests it is smaller in size 
and as you all know that spore is produced by the sporophytic plant by the sporophyte and after it gets separated that means if, if this is a spore this is smaller in size and what is the function of the spore ultimately it gives rise after germination to a multicellular structure and that we call it as gametophyte and since it is a microspore it will develop into male gametophyte and ultimately this male gametophyte it will form male sex organs and ultimately these male sex organs they will form male gametes and since it is a spore it is produced inside the sporangium and that sporangium we can have number of microspores and this sporangium since we have microspores inside we call it as micro sporangium so this is one type of spore that is microspore we can have in heterosporous condition the second one The second one is megaspore. Now, as the name suggests, these are the largest spores, and obviously, they are produced inside sporangium. They are few in number as compared to the microspores and they are produced inside the sporangium I call it as megasporangium and what happens to this megaspore when it germinates it forms to fight and since it is megaspore it will develop into female gametophyte and since it is female gametophyte it will have female sex organ and ultimately it will produce female Gamete. Now these two kinds of spores that is microspore and megaspore we have in a condition that we call as heterospory. So this is about the condition of heterospory in case of tetrophytes. What other subtopics we have to discuss in heterospory in tetrophytes that is about the origin of heterospory. How uh, because just now we have seen that initially all when we talk about the origin we will see that initially all the plants were homosporous that means they produce just one kind of spores and that's why uh, we call them as homosporous so how this another type or how what heterosporate originated during the course of time so that we will discuss in next video under the topic origin of heterospory i hope whatever things we have discussed today that is the definition of heterospory and specifically what is heterospory in a tetrophyte plant and what different kinds or two types of spores we have in tetrophyte plant that is the first one we have that is microspore and the second type we have the megaspore in next lecture we will discuss about the origin of heterospory and certain evidences that prove that how the origin it has taken place so i hope whatever we have discussed today in this lecture that is clear to you uh, please do watch the video and whatever you feel like, please do comment in the commenting comment section. Thank you for watching this video.